Hey, hey, this is Mark Rodriguez. This is Johnny Rodriguez. And you're watching the 100th episode of the Video Game Masters. That's right, we made it to number 100. So tell me, Johnny, what's a great game that we're reviewing for this grand episode? How about Clay Fighters? Oh, Johnny's always Clay Fighters. Like the first episode, Clay Fighters. The, the big 10th anniversary episode, Clay Fighters. It's always Clay Fighters. No, we're not going to talk about... No, 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 wait, wait. You know what? You know what? Fine. Let's just do it. Let's get it over with. If we talk about Clay Fighters for this episode, would you, like, drop it for the rest of the series? Yeah, I'll drop it. Okay, fine. So, for today's episode, guys, Clay Fighters for the SNES. Let's check it out. Hey, guys. You're talking about Clay Fighter? This is going to be good. Hey, Fish Hunter. You see, even Fish Hunter cares about Clay Fighters. Oh, yeah, hey, Fish Hunter. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the combatants for this extravaganza. Cassie versus Helga. Clay Fighter came out in 1992 for the SNES by Interplay Productions and eventually for the Genesis in 1993. What makes Clay Fighter stand out is that all the characters are all real Clay Fighters animated by stop motion and put into the game instead of your usual drawn sprites. A clay meteor hits a random circus and created the clay fighters. And now they fight it out to see who will be the king of the circus. Now, since this was the early 90s, you get eight clay fighters to choose from. And back then, that's the way we liked it, damn it. Bad Mr. Frosty is a snowman with a bad attitude. Blue suede goo is an Elvis impersonator with crazy hair. Taffy is actually a living piece of taffy with stretch attacks. Icky Bob Clay is a ghost that shoots fireballs and does dragon punches. Helga is a Valkyrie opera singer. Bonker is an insane clown with silly gadgets. Tiny is a circus strongman. And finally, the blob is literally a living blob of clay with the cheesiest move in the game. Just look at that nonsense. I mean, just look at that shit. That's even cheesier than Bison doing his cycle crusher over and over again back in Champion Edition. The gameplay is simple enough, you get 3 punches and 3 kicks, as well as holds and throws. The gameplay is pretty much Street Fighter with the usual fireball motions and dragon punch motions and things like that. The originality comes from all the wild and crazy moves the characters can do since they're actually made out of clay. You also have the Super KO. When the worst Super KO are above the opponent, you can hit them with a special move to send them flying and cause more damage. The final boss is End Boss. An obvious parody of M. Bison. This weird thing, whatever it is, basically spams all the different projectiles in the game at the same time and has a hole that causes an insane amount of damage. This guy's incredibly annoying. Alright, guys, so now here's our thoughts on Clay Fighters. Now, I don't have too much to say. It's a very simple game, of course, back then. It was made in the era where fighting games were popular, so every company was trying their best to make like their own fighting game and kind of cash in on that concept. And of course, Clay Fighter's biggest thing was that it was actually made with real sculpted clay models and not the typical um, drawings. So that was like the whole attraction of it. But the game in itself, it um, does play pretty sloppy. The controls aren't like too perfect. And with only eight or so characters, because, you know, back then, most fighting games only had eight characters. Um, yeah, it gets kind of old pretty fast, revisiting this game. But since Johnny's a big fan of it from his childhood, let's see what his thoughts are. Well, okay, well, considering that the game was made in that time period, I think that the concept of pure clay characters was pretty interesting. And uh, the gameplay was kind of cheesy, because there's a lot of, like combos and you can mix them up and um, the blob is really soft because he does that move where he's like a chainsaw and it keeps hitting you hitting you hitting you it's like what it doesn't stop it just like keeps going keeps going you know so in many ways i think that this game actually has a lot of potential like it could have really been a lot better i mean they did make other sequels and they try to correct the problems that this game had but um, overall, I think that this concept is pretty good to the point where I think that they made a modern version of uh, Clay Fighters, I guess, with CGI graphics. Like, the game would have really been really good. I agree with you guys. The game is fun for a while, but it does get old real fast. Also, almost everyone makes a sound when they jump. And since you're jumping around a lot, it gets annoying to hear their voices every time. 
but I still give them credit for using real clay models for the characters. Now another thing about the game also is that the characters are extremely cheesy because um, whenever they're about to die, like the computer characters I'm referring to, oh they just cheese and spam their moves non-stop over and over and over. He's the cheesiest person to fight was um, the stupid clown, Bonker, because he is the worst one. When he's about to die, he does spam the shit out of all his moves. Yeah, the game was also kind of frustrating to play, like one player mode, but you know, so interesting, it was so challenged. Back then we played like a lot and everything when we first bought it, but uh, it's kind of hard to read and play for a long time nowadays. Now one thing I want to point out is the funny ad campaign Clay Fighters had back then advertising all the video game magazines. Saying that they're the best around and poking fun at the other fighting games around at the time like Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat, even World Heroes. Now you know you're tough shit when you're poking fun at World Heroes. Hey guys, that was a good review. But are you guys going to talk about Clay Fighter 2 as well? Whoa, that was Clay Fighters 2? Oh no, we're going to talk about that one too. Yeah, let's look at part 2. Oh hey, hi Fish Hunter, good to see you. Wait, you know me? Of course. I've seen pictures of the fish that you've caught. When you go after fish that big, it's not fishing, it's hunting. Finally! Somebody understands! You're going down! Round one! Fight! Clay Fighter 2, Judgment Clay, came out in 1995. An evil scientist named Dr. Kim scooped up the magical clay from the first game and spread it to Mudville to create new fighters. He holds the C2 tournament to see who is the best. Bad Mr. Frosty, the Blob, and Tiny all come back from the first game, and while the first two are redrawn, or re-sculpted, Tiny's graphics were just reused from the original Clay Fighter. The rest of the crew are Kangoo, Goo Goo, Nana Man, Octohead, and Hoppy, who is a Schwarzenegger type to go along with the Terminator-inspired title. Clay Fighter 2! The final boss in this game is an evil version of your character. In this case, Hoppy's evil twin is named Sarge. These bad guys can be unlocked and actually have some different moves and their own endings. In a way, this game has 16 characters to choose from. I don't recall having played Clay Fighter 2 back uh, when it originally came out. I think I learned my lesson from the first Clay Fighter. Um, and playing through it again here to get uh, some of my thoughts around it now. It wasn't good to begin with. It doesn't hold up now. There's no nostalgia value. Uh, if I want Claymation, I'll go see a California Raisin or something, but I am not a fan of Clay Fighter. Well, we won't mention too much about Clay Fighter 63 and a third, since we don't have a Nintendo 64, but it does add a few more characters and some special moves. The game does have special guest stars from other video games, Boogeyman and Edward Jim. Both are boys, but then Castellaneta, who also does the voice of Homer Simpson. Alright guys, so that wraps up this episode of Video Game Masters, the great 100th episode with, um, Way more Clay Fighters action than I was expecting for this episode, but you know, it's not perfect. We had a couple of random games here and there with our 100 episodes of fun. We talked about weird games like, um, well, the action for the Genesis wasn't really, I mean, it was kind of bad, but it was more of a challenge, but oh god, a Genesis version of TMNT Tournament Fighters. That was horrible. I'm glad we did not devote an entire episode of that. It was more about the SNES version. But the Genesis version was awful. Of course, King of Fighters 12 was a big disappointment also, you know. But of course, we'll talk about just the bad games. We've got lots of good games we talked about. From the King of Fighters series, the Tekken series, you know. Different things here and there. And, hey, who knows what other games we'll talk about in the future. As more games come out, more sequels come out. Hopefully more new things come out. Because even Clay Fighters was a new thing. So, who knows what other new things we're going to talk about in the future. So, this is Mark Rodriguez here. This is Johnny Rodriguez. And this is the Fish Hunter. See you later, guys. And this is Brian from Another Terrible Idea saying thanks for sticking with us for 100 episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.
that it's time for Fish Hunter to say, look at part two. Oh, hi, Fish Hunter. It's good to see you. He says, hey, do you know me? I say, I've seen the fish that you've caught. Oh, oh. fish hunting, fish hunting. Can anybody hunt fish? Apparently they can. <laughs>